What's up? How are you guys this weekend? Frankie Eyeballs is back with another twink. <laughs> uh, we should really take a break and uh, get back to the Asian bombshells. But hey, uh, the ladies are busier than the boys, to say the least. So this was the most reasonable day of eating that was available. We'll see if it's anything special. Bro needs to stop running and start eating. What I eat in a day. I've ran 218 in the marathon and I run up to 100 miles a week. What does a full day of eating look like for me? For some reason, my body type and how much I eat is being debated all over the internet. Seriously, this video that was made about me a few months ago has over a million views. And I receive comments daily debating on if I'm eating enough, if I'm running too much. Well, today I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day. Right now I am in the thick of training, which means that my nutrition is extremely important. That being said, today I have a track workout, a cross training session in the afternoon, and then weights also in the afternoon. So we got a busy day today. Before we get started, I have a few ground rules. I actually only have one rule. I'm not asking you to not judge me, but what I am asking you guys is when you do judge me, keep in mind that I am just out here fighting for my life. I got a lot going on. I literally fly by the seat of my pants. So meals are sketchy, everything's sketchy, but we're gonna get through it. 90 minutes out from a workout or race, I'm always trying to eat a food source with carbs and a little bit of protein in there as well. So today, a bagel with peanut butter and some bananas. Sometimes I'll have oatmeal in the morning with peanut butter as well, but I had a bad experience with that recently. Oh my God. Turn of events, I just vomited my breakfast. So we're shaking it up a little bit. What did he say he ate that wasn't good? Peanut butter and some bananas. Sometimes I'll have oatmeal in the morning with peanut butter as well, but I had a bad experience with that recently. Oh my God. So oatmeal made him throw up. Turn of events, I just vomited my breakfast. So we're shaking it up a little bit. You don't want to go straight carbs. You also want a little bit of protein in there to kind of keep you full, keep you satiated and all that good stuff. So find what works for your morning routine and then slowly branch out from there. Yeah, I mean, keep in mind, whatever he does, this is an unhealthy level of exercise. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with exercising an hour, even two hours a day, depending on the intensity. But when you're doing this level of marathon running, like you're way beyond, you're way over crossing the line of what a healthy amount of exercise is. The amount of stress this is on the body's tissues, on the diet, you're basically starving yourself. And just seeing that that's the volume of food he's eating for the first meal, just like a small uh, half a bagel with a little bit of peanut butter and banana i mean you're about to go stress your body that much yeah your digestive system isn't going to want to handle any food uh, it's not healthy not healthy i mean uh, do, I, do i even have to address the meal you know it's it's pretty normy you know if you're not going organic with the bread it's going to be full of uh, fluoridated water, fortified flour, just horrible for you. Banana is very high in anti-nutrients. Peanut butter, one of the worst nut butters. Like, there, there's no reason to really address that. I mean, we're not here to watch the workout, but one interesting thing I will touch on is is the steroid performance enhancing drug stuff where you guys have to understand that any professional or serious athlete uses steroids regardless of their sport which is is deceptive because people see these skinny marathon runners and they don't think they're on steroids but to get to a certain level they are all using steroids your physical appearance does not necessarily have to be an indicator of performance enhancing drug use it is solely performance once you're at a certain level, everyone's using stuff. Here's what they say. They say that you have a window after you work out. You got to get food like within 30 minutes. Got a core power, 42 grams of protein. People have mixed feelings on protein drinks. I try and only drink one a day anyway. I like to try and get most of my protein and like just calories from like real food. But you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And they also gave me a free banana with the core power. So we're eating good. Make sure you get food right after your workout, whatever. Calories right after. Go long. I mean, this is like, <laughs> what is it? Like a, a conventional protein shake with just some, some whey and chemicals in it. Another thing that I'm, I'm not 100% certain on is, is these runners, I think sometimes they try to keep their body weight low. So they do extreme amounts of running and they restrict their calories because they think that, or well, 
I'm, I'm assuming it's proven that the less they weigh, the more it will improve their mile time. But uh, th that's about as unhealthy as, you know, wrestlers cutting weight. Like, especially in developmental stages of life, it's horrible that anyone anyone does these sports. You know, kids should be eating as, as much high quality, healthy food as possible. Right after will go a long way in helping you recover. It like jump starts your recovery. So. Okay, guys, um, obviously first meal post-workout. You know, this is more of like lunch food. It's a little early for lunch. I'll have a second lunch probably. Chicken quesadilla with a salad on the side. I gotta like hurry and go to work. So this is like all like leftover stuff that's already been made. Sometimes my meals, they look good and they're like good and I have veggies and it's like balanced. Other times it's like not balanced at all. So we're trying to be better. I mean, he didn't even really show us if he's not trying to restrict his calories what is I, I just find it difficult to believe that having this meal is going to be better for marathon performance than just like beef and rice like okay what happens if he does increase his calories and starches and fats and proteins and overall food quality he's he without a doubt he's going to perform better either way and i i wouldn't be surprised if he didn't put on any extra weight so i mean this is this is just this is just bad I mean, drinks in aluminum cans, you know, what type of water do they use? How many chemicals? Are, I mean, it's just, you're just drinking chemicals, really. Not good for your body metabolism at all. We've talked about green vegetables before. They don't offer the body anything beneficial. There's no reason to have a salad. And then the, the quesadilla is the only semblance of nutrition. You know, he's getting a small amount of carbs and protein from that. Uh, but that's really it. Okay, I'm hungry. Let's eat. What, what are we eating? What are we eating? I don't know. Not sure what we're gonna eat today for second lunch. I don't know, I'm gonna find something. Toast with some type of seeds in it and stuff. Then we got a bowl, yogurt bowl, uh, with some fruit and stuff in it. You know, doing this day in the life, I probably- Why does he just gloss over the stuff he's eating and then starts yapping? If that's eggs and toast with yogurt on the side, this is actually a reasonable, decent meal. You know, he's getting carbs, he's getting protein, he's getting, I mean, hypothetically high quality yogurt would be good for you, but most supermarket yogurt is just like kind of low quality protein. Uh, and if that is butter on the bread and not like margarine or anything, it's actually an excellent meal. The only, I mean, to nitpick a little bit, like the, the greens and the eggs aren't doing him any favors. Season it and stuff. Then we got a bowl, yogurt bowl. Uh, with some fruit and stuff in it. You know, doing this day in the life, I probably should have planned some meals or something, but we're just going like off the dome here, okay? I struggle to eat a lot of food in one sitting, so it's really important for me to make sure that I got like snacks and, and food throughout the day. So instead of eating like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, kind of have like two smaller breakfasts, two smaller lunches, and then like a big dinner, and then I'll like top it off with like a little something something at the end of the night. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I'm gonna eat some food because I'm starving, so. I'm just saying that like, I don't, I feel weird like he's like saying he's starving and he's also saying he just can't eat food so something doesn't make sense posting videos of myself like actually eating on youtube you know what i'm saying i think it's fine i don't think it's fine i think people don't want to see that what i feel like it's satisfying watching someone eat like i actually kind of enjoy watching someone eat you're weird for that <laughs> guys comment down below if mika's weird for enjoying watching people eat okay okay so i'm in the middle of doing some schoolwork. i made myself uh like like a meat and cheese veggie sandwich on some pita bread and I just warmed it up in the oven. It's really good actually. Um this is kind of like this is kinda of like a staple for me. So looks nice, no? Yeah, a lot of these athletes don't understand they can just have less frequent larger meals and it's the exact same nutritionally and you don't have to cook as much. Uh but I mean this doesn't really look that great. It's, just, it's low quality carb source. You know, what type of flour is being used? It's not, it's not really that great for you. At least you're getting caloric density and some energy. Maybe he put some, some cheese in there. Looks like some pepperoni or something, or that could be tomato. But there's some protein in there. And the veggies we could do without, but at least it's somewhat calorically dense. Yeah, he's not, he's not, he's not explaining what's... He's just showing pictures of the food, so we don't really know what's in it. hours doing schoolwork, a couple hours sending some emails. We we're done, we're ready to go. Uh, again, I don't like to eat too many of stuff like this just cause like I want like real food, but 
Again, I'm not really too picky on what I use. So and this is like a carbohydrate bar. So really it's not even a protein bar, it's just straight carbs. I think it's for like pre-fueling, so. Uh, but it's got 200 calories, which is nice. I never know how this is gonna look after I edit it. Like, I don't, I don't know. So this could either be like the worst day of eating or the best day of eating. We're gonna find out. I don't even know, so. I mean, you know, you should try saying what the food is, you know, that, that wouldn't, wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, uh, you know, we, we have a bunch of high quality nutrition bars on Frankie's free range foods. And when, if I'm actually hungry, like 200 calories, isn't going to do anything. I'm just going to want to eat like five or six of them. It's doing more workout Doing more of a workout because I believe it's important to treat yourself. All right, guys, bag secured. They're Pillsbury. You know, we ain't messing around. Ladies with gentle hands. This is my alter ego. I need the Max Wien. Welcome to another day of cooking with Adam. Today, we got something a little special. Guys, I'm not a huge fan of salad, but this one actually is really good. So, Mika. Okay, uh, the, the, he literally just, the, uh, we're assuming he had Pillsbury cinnamon rolls we're assuming he had those even though he didn't show uh the cooking or eating of them uh th that's a pretty good example of what a lot of these vegan chicks or or these girls who try to eat healthy it's what they do they'll kind of restrict their calories all day and then they'll just have like 1500 calories worth of dessert at the end of the night because they've been because they haven't been giving their body the fat and caloric density it needs to maintain its body weight, especially with all this physical activity. Uh, discovered it. How'd you discover it? Uh, Google. She discovered it on Google. And uh, yeah, it's stuck with us ever since. So get a good bowl of kale, okay? Uh, your, the ingredients you're gonna need are some cherries. These are cherries, right? Yeah, dry cherries. Dry these people, you just need to have a conversation with these people. They get a giant bowl of kale. Okay, why is the kale healthy? Oh, because greens are good for you. Really? Why are greens good for you? And they, oh, because it has vitamins and minerals. Really? What vitamins and minerals does it have? Ooh, they don't, probably probably can't answer half of those questions. And even if they could, you could easily explain, okay, well, the body doesn't really need those specific vitamins or minerals in that amount. They're not, they're not bioavailable forms. It's just, it's just silly, you know? Nothing good starts with a bowl of kale besides, imagine, imagine how many farmers would be out of business. Jeez. Dry cherries, dump those in. Okay. Green apples, we cut up two whole green apples into cubes like this, dump it in. Chopped pecans, dump it in. Okay, radishes. Uh, I don't really like radishes, but honestly you can't. Literally a bowl of white rice would be healthier. That's not that much, so dump it in. Okay, now for the part that all of you guys are gonna be scared about, it's A lot less cheese. work. Let me tell you something, goat cheese is really good. Goat cheese hits, so if you haven't had it, you should- Or just eat the chunk of goat cheese and throw the rest away. Try it. Um, yeah, okay. So I just do this with my fingers, just like that. Man handling the cheese with my hands. I'm cutting this part out. Okay, and salad is not good without the dressing, to be honest with you, because who just likes to eat a whole bunch of fruits and veggies plain? We have a uh, Dijon mustard, white wine vinegar, maple syrup, olive oil dressing. You guys, this is a sweet and tangy salad. It's really good, if I do say so myself. Okay, and I've also never really tossed a salad before, so. <laughs> Send me up for that one. Kale, kale tastes horrible, bro. Kale, kale is horrible. It, it just doesn't taste good. It's not good for you. It's disgusting. It's this bitter, acrid green vegetable that will give you thyroid problems. Dude, it smells so good. Sorry, on the menu we got the salad today, obviously, but we also have a stroganoff. It's like... <laughs> It's like he okay, he shows up he shows us all making this salad that we is not doing him any good from an athlete perspective. And then he he just oh yeah, by the way, I had one of the most calorically dense things that would be great for an athlete to have, beef stroganoff. Like <laughs> just double the portion of the stroganoff, dude. Okay guys, it's been a long day. I'm really tired. Vlog There's definitely some uh, conflicting nutritional understanding in this kid's head. I mean, beef stroganoff to my memory is is like beef with noodles in like a heavy cream sauce, which is very calorically dense, high in protein, good for working out. If we want to nitpick the quality of the ingredients and in that stuff, uh, we can, but we're so far gone with other stuff, there's no point. 
blogging all day is actually like not a very fun activity, but you know, we're pushing through it. Last thing of the day, it's about eight o'clock ish right now. This will try these cinnamon rolls. I'm going to try it on camera and I'm going to take the rest down. Okay. Now we have the cinnamon rolls. room and eat it like a rat. I always just try to like have something right before I go to bed just to like, you know, top me off. Um, today it's cinnamon rolls tomorrow. Who knows what it'll be, but that's it. I mean, it's just normie stuff, you know. Let me just give you a quick summary of how I approach eating. I'm gonna be really quick because this video is already long enough. Um, I don't count calories. I just am trying to eat as much as I can throughout the day. I try and have a lot of meals. Um, you know, they're not always the biggest meals. And I try not to be hungry throughout the day because honestly, especially marathon training, once you're hungry, it means you should have already had food like 30 minutes ago. So I try and get ahead of my hunger as well. One of the biggest things guys is you have to eat if you're gonna run a lot of miles. The thing that I have to say to everybody who's worried about if I'm eating enough, guys, I'm trying to run as fast as I can. I'm trying to be a competitive runner. I know that I won't recover, I won't stay injury free, and I won't run to the best of my abilities if I am not fueling properly. So eating is always on the forefront of my mind. The hardest thing I have to do all day is like figure out where I'm getting all my meals. So I'm racing here in a few weeks, so first 5K on the track in two years. Super excited about it. I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching. Uh, I don't think the the protein content in the diet is high enough for what he's doing. Uh, you know, breakfast he he just had the bagel with a little peanut butter. That's not really a bioavailable protein. Uh, post workout he had a protein shake, which is is pretty low quality protein, but at least you know at least he got something. And then. The next, the next meal, the scrambled eggs, he did have some protein, but um, the next few meals, not really a crazy amount of protein. Yeah, I mean, the whole day, really, you know, I don't think he's eating over, I mean, he can't be eating over like 70, 80 grams of protein for the whole day. And you would assume for, for a high performance athlete, that is nowhere near enough. And, and just like from a food perspective, from, from breaking it down meal by meal, there's nothing he really eats that you could say, oh, he's definitely an athlete, um, which is not usually the case with these other day of eatings where you can clearly see the person is is trying to, to follow some type of performance diet. So uh, definitely increase the protein content. Dare I say, get closer to the bro science bodybuilding meals. <laughs> but... Uh, Yeah, I mean, even a calorie calorie perspective, it's probably not as bad as you think, uh, mainly because of the beef stroganoff and the cinnamon buns and stuff, but definitely lacking protein. Let's see what the peanut gallery says. The people judging your physique couldn't do 10% of the training you do. They talk while you commit action. <laughs> Most folks that talk about other folks' bodies absolutely do not have the idea of body type. Keep doing your thing and shade the haters. The skinny body is the build for the... <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Zip it up when you're done, ladies and gentlemen. Zip it up when you're done. Bro, you're elite. These haters literally couldn't even walk a mile in your shoes. I mean, people just aren't used to seeing, uh, you know high level athletes like marathon runners like that that's just what they do although his diet is wrong and i wouldn't say he's uh that close to not eating enough but he should be eating more more calorically dense foods and more protein so some of the haters are a little right anyway thank you guys for joining me if you want to support me you can check out frank com where we have high quality and unique health based uh Products and businesses, Frankie's Free Range Meat, Frankie's Free Range Foods, Organ Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals, all that stuff that will benefit both your physical and mental health. Uh, but outside of that, guys, please let me know down in the comments if there's any day of eatings or anything interesting uh, you guys would like me to critique. Please drop a like, leave a comment, make sure to check that you're subscribed, and I'll see you guys for the next video.